Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So let's just continue right where we left off. Um, quickly, uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a visit to the moon. I think we've got a few things to do. So we reclaimed, I think, two areas. Okay, so now we can play with these. Let's go ahead and um, stick a few people there. Stick a few people there. Stick a few there. Okay, over here. All right, the moon is done. Um, if you guys remember last episode, we changed uh, Magnolia to a fencer, and Tiz is now a bishop. I'm pretty sure now we have heal, right? Oh, we can just do a heal all. Yeah, okay, that uses a lot of mana, but hey, now we have that. So that's cool. I think we can now decorate our special moves, right? So. We'll have to do that. You know, I might just do that now. And then we should also double check our abilities real quick. So, the holy magic, I'm going to go ahead and put the spirit magic on him there. So, the warfare should probably... Okay, uh, let's put there, sword play. Let's put warfare on that. And then let's put the holy magic with you as a secondary there. Now, we should really play with our empty slots. I don't think I have anything else to put on him. With Tiz, I just have the damage disperse dispersion. We'll go ahead and put that there. Okay, and then we don't have anything with her yet. Okay, then we just have to do these specials real quick. So, um, oh, we don't have any parts. Okay, so we won't do any of that now. Okay, let's go ahead to where we're supposed to go then. And that is all the way back to the city that we started in here. Okay, so we're back in Eternian now. Um, do now we have a lot more money. I feel like I could buy antidote pretty safely here. Um, I should probably buy some weapons for the people that I need, right? So Adia is probably going to need her own one of these because she's better with swords. And we'll go back here and then we'll put this back on her, put the katana back. And I think that's all we really need here. Now we also should probably let's spend some money on. Let's buy like 10 Phoenix Downs here. That's a little bit of money so early on in the game, but we also need some of those, a couple of those, a couple of those, and then we won't need any teleport stones this early. How much is the night at the end? Oh, we can just cross the other side. That is handy dandy. Okay, thank you, game. Good feature. Good feature. I like that feature. So this is where you grew up? You? I can just see you running up and down the streets. I bet you slipped on that hill over there and scraped your knee. Uh, I don't remember scraping my knee. Actually, I don't remember much at all about my childhood. Just that I didn't go outside much. What? What sort of kid doesn't play outside? Well, I liked reading books and that sort of thing, you know? What did you do outside, if you feel that strongly about it? Sword fights, of course. Of course? No, I mean when you were younger. Didn't you play with dolls? Throw them tea parties? No, I played at sword fighting. There wasn't a kid in the neighborhood that could stand up to me. W okay, so um, <clears throat> what about when you were older? I suppose you were into social dancing and your studies by then? No, sword fighting. It was more training than playing at that point, though. I'm a fush. Good gravy. <laughs> that sounds like Idia. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, you, where's our boat? <laughs> uh, the docks are right this way. Follow me, everyone. Okay. Uh, say it uh, before is a uh, switching back. What can be a chore? Use your favor, save yourself time and trouble. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Once we get later into the game, that might actually become useful there. We're just gonna get moving. Okay. Okay. What do you say? You look weird. The end of the world approaches. It is. Easy, it is easy to read in the stars. The Empire attack is just another. Okay. So he thinks the world's gonna end. Fair enough. Well, if it isn't young Master Yu, what brings you to the docks today? 
My friends and I are bound for Harina. We're in need of a sturdy vessel. Aye, indeed. I fear the Imperial attack has left my docks in shambles. Not a single seaworthy vessel remains. Oh dear. Well then, I suppose we have no choice. We'll just have to swim! Are you crazy? Harina must be hundreds of leagues away! We must not let that discourage us! Mais oui! We mustn't give up without even trying! Yes, we must! Ah... Use optimism is rubbing off on her. I see my student is as spirited as ever. Says who? Uh, isn't that... Master? <gasps> Master, you're alive! Master? It is? Just so. I am Nobutsuna Kami Izumi, a disciple of the Way of the Sword. Everything I know about swordsmanship I learned from Master Kami Izumi! Master... When I last saw you, I thought you were... I'm just glad to see you safe. What brings you here, Kami Izumi? Sir? The wind carried to me tidings of great peril in the duchy. The master that turns a blind eye when his student is in danger is a poor master indeed. You couldn't have come at a better time, master. As it happens, we're in a real pickle. Uh, pickle? We need to get to Harina, but after the Empire's attack, there isn't a boat to be found. Worry no more, for I have a vessel of my own. You may consider it yours. Truly, Master? I don't know how to thank you! We depart at dawn. Prepare your belongings. Aye, aye, Master! Oh, but before we set sail... You, could you show us the Sanctum? Uh, of course, but why? I want to see with my own eyes the halls where Anya has forged the way for peace. Tis? It would be my pleasure, sir. Okay. To the Sanctum we go then, but first, a party chat. Adia's master. Sorry for the wait. Oh, Adia, are you sure you don't need to take a little longer? I'm sure. I told my master about the ceremony what happened to my father. I wanted to ask, but Adia, what happened to your father? Is he okay? I... I don't know. They didn't find his body at the Sanctum, or Alternus's. Don't give up hope. Too many warriors like them, I'm sure they made it through. Thanks, Tiz. I'm trying to keep up hope. So where's Master Kami Izumi now? Beats me. He wandered off looking for dried sardines. Dried sardines? Yeah, sounds kind of gross to me too, but hey. To each his own. I guess if you want to get good with the sword, you need to eat terrible things. Um, there's nothing here that's good for us, right? No. Didn't think so. What about here? Did we miss any magic? No. We didn't miss anything else the other time around. Fair enough. Okay. Um, I don't need to do anything, right? Nope. Okay. Cool. Oh, let's also switch out the first character. I don't want Tiz anymore since now he's a bishop. I think a fencer would be nice. Yeah, I think this looks sick. So we'll keep Magnolia up front for just a little while longer. Other! Sir, you? You, you live! When I heard you'd gone off after the Kaiser on your own, I feared the worst. As did I, Uther. I was certain that Jan had... When I saw Sir Jan turn against us, I... I ran. There's no shame in that, Uther. You did well to outrun him. Well, I didn't so much outrun him as... Uh, I slipped and fell into a gully. Hey, it happens to us all. And washed downstream. And swept clear out to sea. I only recently made my way back here. What an ordeal. W what matters most is that you're safe. Thank you, Sir Yu. By the way, have you news of Sir Nikolai? He has yet to return. 
I fear he won't be returning. Nikolai has gone over to the Empire as well. What? This cannot be! I couldn't believe it either, until my sword met his staff in battle. Sending you all after the Skyhold, even the attack on the ceremony may have been by his design. Oh. To think, Sir Nikolai too has betrayed us. And so the once proud Crystal Guard comes to an end. My brothers in arms, who's to say this is the end? But Sir Yu, Her Holiness has been kidnapped, and two of our boldest now fight for our foe. You see before you the remainder of the Crystal Guard. What hope is left for us? Still, this isn't the end. I won't let it be the end. Sir Yu... Our brothers have fallen, but we live, do we not? Yes, we live to fight on, and as long as we keep hope in our hearts, we can fight back, over and over again if we must, until the day we deliver. Our coup de gravy! Sir Yu is right. We may be battered, but we are not beaten. Yes, there is still much to be done. We must not give up hope. Starting today, starting with us, the Crystal Guard shall be reborn. Your words give us strength, Sir Yu. Truly, you are the heir to House Jidiolja. With you to lead us, I have no doubt that the Crystal Guard will rise again. Thank you, Othar. But I fear I can't stay here with you. Her Holiness needs my help. The Three Cavaliers may be no more, but their duties remain. Saving Pope Agnes and rebuilding the Crystal Guard will both be great tasks, in no small measure. And we will defend Gathlatio with our lives, Sir Yu. Aye, for this is our duty as well. Let the Kaiser come. We'll knock that flying castle of his clear out of the skies. With just us? <laughs> I like those odds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Does Tiz not want to see anything? We will. Okay. Cool. Thought Tiz was wanting to see something. We didn't really talk much throughout that. That was some speech, you. I laughed. I cried. You think so? It was nothing, really. Is somebody blushing? C come on, quit it! This brings back memories. Memories? Of Anyas. In Ansheim, she spoke to the people of Awakening the Wind. And in Florum, of the depth of her friendship, again and again. Just like you. It does bring back memories, but comparing Yu's speech to Anyas's? On the contrary. It was marvelous, you. Our emotions, our passions can move the hearts of others. We live to fight on, and fight we shall, over and over if we must. Your optimism has given your comrades hope, where hope was lost. But I didn't do anything special. Sure you did. Not that I'd expect any less from the founder of Agnes's Avengers. Agnes's Avengers? Uh oh, uh, th that's nothing. Really, forget about it. <laughs> Kabow! Mr. Oblivious strikes again! <laughs> I'm counting on you, you. Just don't overdo it, okay? Yes, Your Holiness. I don't know about Idia, but I thought you were wonderful in there, you. Uh, th thanks. <laughs> Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. <laughs> I think I'm gonna melt. Oh, la la, you. You're as red as a beet. Don't make fun of me. Come on, we leave tomorrow, so let's go back to my place and get some rest. I think, yeah, they're... They sort of replicated Anya's character into a 
now uh, this version of a being a guy but I can tell it's like Agnes's type character and then obviously I mean you know we've got the four characters but clearly Magnolia is supposed to be new ring bell tis is or uh you is supposed to be the new Agnes and then tis and then tis and a dr are just the same people but they seem to have matured you know quite a bit more I like this combination of people it's positively scrumptious what's this dish you that would be saucy squidding spaghettini my young lady from the moon it's a house genealogia speciality squid yeah squid you know those slimy guys with all the legs don't you have them on the moon idiot your teeth are pitch black and everyone knows there are no squid on the moon only octopuses your teeth are nice and inky too tis but we don't have any octopuses on the moon either mm. oh mm, so good mm. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Mm. You can say that again. This paella de Gethladia was something else. You actually understood what she said? More or less. Wow, even your ears are extraordinary. So this is what you expect of a home-cooked meal. I'll have to get the recipes. Is something the matter, Magnolia? Sirian, don't mind me. <laughs> huh? Mm. Mm. <sighs> All right, my belly's full of goodies, and now it's time to hit the hay. The Agnes League sets off at dawn. It's Agnes's Avengers. Please remember it correctly, Idia. You too, sir. Right, right. What you said. And it came to be that my new companions and I set off on a quest to rescue Her Holiness from the clutches of the dastardly Kaiser. Though our journey will doubtless be a long and trying one, I have no doubt that with teamwork and cooperation, we will prevail. Agnes's Avengers, such was the name I bestowed upon our merry band. In truth, at first I was unsure about the moniker. But my friends have taken quite a liking to it, which fills me to no end with pride. Idia, in particular, seems especially impressed with my creativity. Says who? No, oh, uh, I... What are you writing, you? I keep seeing you scribbling in there. Just making notes in my diary. I always wanted to be a scholar. Old habits die hard, I guess. A scholar? Who to thunk? Well, y you don't have to be so surprised about it. Still, keeping a mission log is a good idea. Perhaps I could write something too? <gasps> Me too! Me too! What? But, but, but why? <sighs> oh, this is too much. The tis, do something, sir, please. All right. Listen up, everyone. We'll use different colors to tell who's writing what. I call dibs on green. Uh, but, sir? Hey, no fair. Oh, fine, I call orange. Hmm, I hope there's a blue. But of course, young lady. Where, where do those pens come from? Alfred! That settles it. Yu's diary is now everyone's diary. What? Oh, all right, fine, fine. Huh. Okay, let's keep moving on. Okay, there's. It says there's things around the house. Okay, that's one, a hundred pig. I have to keep an eye out for. That. Where's something? Is it here? Okay, there's our two treasures. I need to keep an eye out for that because I do want to grab those things and see. And apparently, even in town, there's three treasures. So, you know, there. Have you seen the treasures? Have you seen the treasures? No. There's got to be one in here. Got to be 100%. Yep, there's one. And there's probably two more. 
There's probably one on that second level. But there's also got to be one here. Maybe on one of the boats? Yep, there we go. And then there's probably one up there. And I'm not going to bother to get that one for now. Let's just continue on with Kami Izumi here. This is our boat? <laughs> Don't be silly, idiot. None other. Uh, master, let me get this straight. This is... Our vessel. Tu plaisant? I don't believe it. An ultra-compact marine vessel. Who knew that Luxembourg had such advanced technology? Whoa, whoa, whoa. But if we set out in this, we'll be castaways in no time. This boat has carried me safely across the oceans. A finer vessel I have never known. What if we hit a big wave? We'll end up as fish food! A finer vessel I have never... known. Relax. I'm sure there's more to the boat than meets the eye. Right, sir? <sighs> uh... Worry not. This boat has served me well in my travels. It may not look like much, but it will not go down easily. Isn't that so, Tsubaki? Master, I've been meaning to ask, but... What's with the cat? Tsubaki has been my fast companion in my journey across these realms. You have no fears about our vessel, do you, Tsubaki? Wow. And that settles that. Board this vessel as if you are boarding a mighty galleon. Como? What settles what now? I'm not so sure about this either. Come on, if Master Kami Izumi says it'll be fine, it'll be fine. B probably. Right, let's trust him. I'm sure it'll all work out. Somehow. Fair enough. We've entered Harina, Your Majesty. Excellent. All is proceeding as it should. Which brings us to the next stage of our plan. We have two matters to attend to here, yes? The first objective is as I explained to the two of you. I trust you will not let me down. Yes, yes Your, Your Majesty. Majesty. Which brings us to the matter of the compass. Our men on the ground are investigating as we speak. What about you? Knowing him, he won't sit still for long. The boy will bother us no more. You know who will see to that. With all due respect, Your Majesty, are you certain the individual in question is up to the task? I deny your words and your worries, Nikolai. The one you speak of is an experienced assassin. You will be dead before he knows it himself. Isn't that so, Bismarck? Easy, Tiger. You is not your concern. See to your own duties. Roger that. As you command, Your Majesty. Well, I already got your asterisk, so... Navigating shallow waters. Kamizumi's mighty galleon can only apply to shallow coastal waters. Okay. So we can only go in the light parts. Okay, fair enough. Um, Let's go ahead and go to the... Ooh. Once again, let's go to the moon. I think we've got a few things here. Okay. The other ones, I think there's a couple of them. Oh, okay. No, these are all good. Okay, let's stick a couple more people on this 19-hour one. Because, okay, let's stick all of our people on there. I want that I want that one opened up. Okay. And I guess we're all the way here. They want us to travel all the way down to Harina. Now, hold up. I'm trying to see how this fits into the last map. Okay, so I'm taking a look at the map here. Okay, guys, so I just want to show you here just because this is cool. So you can actually take a look at both maps. So this is the, um, well, actually, I guess you can't see my cursor. But it looks like we are actually on the same map. It's just, <clears throat> it seems as the map has moved a little bit, shifted. Because you could see the 
um, the continents are the same, minus we're missing Caldisla. But you could see where we're going, Harina, was where uh, I and Chime used to be. And above that was where the Water Temple and Florum was. So on this side right here, this is Florum. All the way at the bottom there is Anchime, and this is supposed to be where Eternia was, and below that was where that big war at the bridge was last game, so... And then in the middle, as you see on the other one, there's no Caldisla. But the only reason I know to this to be a case, because if you look right here, all the way at the top, you can see the little string of islands. That's the same string of islands you see over there, so... Anyway... I thought that was extremely interesting there. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. Let's head down. Ooh, there's also some chests. There's 27 chests? Okay, so we'll have to press Q wherever we go just to maybe we'll pick up a, a chest. But yeah, so we can only go on shallow seas. And apparently we, don't, we can't really stop anywhere except boat yards. So that's fair enough. Good thing there was a little shallow across the continents there. That works out in our favor. Okay, see we can't go in there at all. The only place we can go is over here. To... Where Anchime used to be. <laughs> Another leak! Quickly, plug the hole, Lydia. Me again? Like I don't already have my hands and feet full! Here, Idia. Uh, I'll take over. Watch out, sir! Don't stand all of a sudden like that. Yes, stay low. And take care not to rock the boat lest we capsize. Here, let's just bail as fast as we can. Uh, right. Tidal wave of four! Ah! <coughs> a mighty galley in my behind! Wee! Oui. Luxendark sure is a blast! Well, I'm glad one of us is having fun. Why wouldn't I be? I've never been on a ship like this before. Well, they don't have oceans on the moon, you see. Exactement. An adventure on the high seas. Nothing but blue waves stretching all the way to the horizon. Hmm? What's this? The heck is that thing? One fish, two fish, meow, fish, mew, fish. Doesn't make any sense. It's a mew fish. Or, or a Pokemon? I can explain, Magnolia. You see, the girl is merely fishing. Uh, wait. Fishing? A girl fishing alone in the middle of the ocean? That's a bit odd. Ahoy, little girl! What are you doing out here? Meow. What does it look like I'm doing? I'm out in my catamaran fishing. For fish, you know. My little kitties at home are counting on me for a moist and delicious feast. Ah, a fellow cat fancier, I see. I recognize your good taste. Aren't we getting along swimmingly? That's what I'm meowing about. Cats are just the best, don't you think? And look. What a precious little kitty you have there. This is Tsubaki, my loyal companion. We met on the road, so I cannot be certain. But in my estimation, he's a purebred Highland fold of some 12 years of age. Master, that's a plain old tabby if I ever saw one. <clears throat> a Highland fold. You're a cute little kitty, aren't you? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Minette has a treat for you. <sighs> hmm? Is something the matter, Tsubaki? That's a bad guy. <laughs> Look out! Tsubaki's attacking us? <sighs> Master! I don't like the look in those eyes. Was a cute little kitty, but meow! What a sour puss! I'll be going, meow! Exit stage left! <laughs> Look out, you! Ah! 
Tsubaki. Do you have to fight? Worry not. I struck with the blunt side of my blade. Dang. Whatever got into him? Master, are you hurt? How could I be so careless? The wound is deep. He needs medical attention and fast. Let's find somewhere to go ashore. Like Karina? There's a city not far from here. Al Campus, land of learning. Let's hurry there. Isn't that just Ein Anchime? Yeah, that's Anchime. But guys, oh. Um, okay, we can't do anything there yet. There's gotta be a treasure in these woods here. Either way, we're gonna end this episode off here, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a comment as well as the channel, and we'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.